So there's one possibility. Most likely it's another standard lab. And we'll have the whole turret exit computer to deal with. <clears throat> hmm. I could play Ring Around the Rosie with the zombie dog, put him in the chain link fence. I don't know if they can do enough damage to break the fence. Let's find out. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> My one and only entrance is another shock room. You have got to be kidding me. Ugh, so many shock traps this run. And a hunter. That hunter doesn't die. I have separate problems. So I need to back off enough. Pull the dog down. Oh, that was not a cool way to move, dog. Follow me this way. I need to close that to make sure that hunter doesn't get out. Am I not faster than him walking? He got caught in the corner there. Come on, you idiot zombie dog. There you go. I'm going to go for a walk inside and around. All right. I don't think he's strong enough to break that. Now we need to wait a while for the electricity to kill that stupid hunter, which may never happen if he just parks right here. I didn't see him charging down the tunnel when I closed the door, but... That is a long way to travel. <laughs> Screw you people. Go check, Vorm. Go check. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> At least I know who to blame it on. <laughs> So, I could do a little circle and uh, close the door again, lock him in here. Then I'd have to go around him when I wanted to get out. This is a little tricky to time, though. Especially if I have to waste time where I might get shocked. Oh, some bitch. Oh, man, this is going to suck. Please don't shock me. Please don't shock me. I need my light on. Door east and west. No way north. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. That's more than a little weird. Scissors. All right, let's hide back in this corner and get my stamina back. I'm going to forget that that guy's out there waiting for me. We got shuffling in the room to the east, do we? Which is the room I need to go to. Damn it! Stairs down. I don't want to go down necessarily. Yep, it's a nice lab. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We're not dead, but it reached out and touched me. 
Great. Now I get pain and uh, slow down in addition. Now his corpse is in the way, I can't close that door. I gotta close the other two doors. <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> it's just me this happens to, right? You guys don't have this kind of cascading, obvious game bias against you. <laughs> I just can't seem to get a break on this one. Uh, well, it's either the long trip south, or we gotta go back home. We'll have to relearn our map memory, which is gonna suck. Well, and then to the east. Ice lab with dogs with electricity trap. <laughs> I think step one is to go go back. We're we're down a fair amount of hit points. It's gonna take me a while to heal up. So let's do that first. Take me here, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What are we? I I think we're still okay actually. Let's let's keep exploring to the east beforehand before we do anything else. Uh safe mode on. Let's see if it walks me right into and gets me killed. Ah, <laughs> crack. Uh yes, cancel auto move. Hey there, Mr. Crack. Are there any Migos down here with you? Got slime. Dante's body site, portal body site. Damn, crack's gonna be a pain in my ass. You're a fire flask. I'm just barely faster than him walking. That'll that'll be good enough. We'll run briefly. Turn safe mode back on. Now the problem is I can't designate another fast move to location. <laughs> At least I don't think I can without having something on the map. Anything good happen yet? <laughs> Absolutely nothing good. <laughs> As Derek comments, it's been uh, it's been a bit of a shit show. It's been a dump on Vorm day so far. All right, another body site in the tunnels. Shouldn't be a big deal, depending. 
That's uh, f four, five sites. They're going to go after the Gracken, mostly. Screw oh, another lab site. Screwdriver, coat. No clothing I care about. Internal climate control, CBM, and that's it. Hey, now. Face the Gracken. There you go. Go away, Gracken. So, we heard gunfire. That means there could be another standard lab over here. More likely that way, anyway. Yes, go back north, Gracken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zombie corpse. That does not bode well. We got chopped up slimes and a zombie corpse. So it's a body site where the body hasn't risen yet? That doesn't make sense. Watch, he's gonna stand up as soon as I stand next to him. Hmm, weird. Oh, you some bitch. Some bitch. <laughs> Migos are my bane today. Uh, so many Migos. Of course, he's going to be in good shape. Eh, three. I'd still have to hit him at least probably three times to drop him. With my very limited amount of ammo. See, why can't you give me rollerblades? Why you got to give me flip-flops? Tennis shoes. Rollerblades, please. Well, there could be more. That might not be the only one. I gotta keep looking. I can't pass up a chance. I'm gonna keep moving north till he gets closer. We'll start firing. That's probably close enough. It's gonna take at least two hits to make him start running. Go away, Gracken. You don't want none of this. You my new buddy now, are you? All right, follow along. I don't mind. Just gonna use you as a, a bait. Gonna chum the water for me. I want to know where we heard the gunfire. Could be a lab nearby, north or south of us. Yeah. See, now we're hearing a terrible shriek to the north. There could be a lab up there that's no direct connection, unfortunately, to the subway tunnel we're in. But we get to hear them. But we don't get to actually participate in the fun. Alright, zombie. That's uh, another one of the short labs. Damn it. So, that's not the only direction that we can go, at least, but again, we're getting way far away. Ugh, man, that sucks. Slavering biter. Everybody wants back in. Still no train for us to use. Uh oh, I lost my friend.
Yeah, this is getting more than a little ridiculous. We might have to uh, make a run for it out the warehouse, much as I don't want to. Jeez. <laughs> Flaming Eye waiting for me in the tunnels. Well, that puts paid to this route. I'm not going to get close enough to that to uh, be able to shoot it. Hopefully he doesn't hit me before we get back out of the way. All right. Well, I, I don't see much of a choice. I think we're going to have to try the warehouse exit. All we got was uh, like seven short labs and uh, an ice lab with a shock entrance. <laughs> I haven't explored all the way down south here, so I technically have one more route we could go, but I just don't see it happening. Take me... nope, not that close. Take me to here. Then we're going to manually go around that corner. All right, there were stuff in here we should be able to go around them without too much trouble it's gonna stop me from moving yes well hey there zombie that was quick I heard a clang midway through. Keep on moving. Uh, of course, he's right in front of me. <laughs> Come on. Well, we made it back home to our totally unexplored laboratory. Um, <laughs> night escape and hope for the best. Yeah. It's about what we're down to. Literally only one more route to look at. It'd be a fast trip over because I could fast travel to here. Just make sure I sneak around the intersection and then fast travel south again. But I guess we are still hydrated. Oh, we're down the normal weight. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, time long ago they had a super destructo laser eye that would just devastate everything in an area. It broke a lot of things. They they got rid of that power long ago. Um No, I'm going to I'm going to finish the run in the tunnels. Save some battery power. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it was trying to go through the lab and then through a wall? <laughs> That's interesting. Trying to do their game. 
Let's try this again. Nope, still trying to go through the lab. <laughs> oh, good old wonky auto travel. Oh, that's right, it's up and around that corner, so we're actually safe to here. Ah, uh, screwed that up. Screwed that up! Oof, lucky us. I gotta be, yeah, I gotta do the movement with the, uh, oh, this is a standard subway! This is a city subway! It's a city subway, that's why it's got the brake in it. Now, that doesn't help me that there's going to be a bunch of zombies here, but this is actually a subway up into a city. <laughs> well, no, not success. Don't don't think this is success. <laughs> Have you ever seen the center level of a subway station when you're playing on double zombies? <laughs> uh, believe me, it does not mean success, necessarily. First thing i got to do is get a little bit of distance from the firefighter man here. There's a lot of regular zombie as well. Let's pull them south into the tunnel a ways, and then we'll circle back. And we'll peek upstairs, and then we'll probably run. But it looks like there's at least another entrance right there as well. I just gotta not fill these halls up with zombies. For now, I just want a bit of a lead. Alright, let's turn off the uh, headlamp. Make them follow the scent trail across the tracks. Okay, <laughs> this is what we call victory in Warmville. Please don't trap me coming up or down the stairs, because that would really reek. That would that would not be fun. That is what we call success in Warmville. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. It's possible I could race for the uh, the stairs and, and get up into the city area. <laughs> I don't know if that would be good. They killed the poor rats. There's probably a jackhammer right here. That would solve all my problems. Just get the jackhammer. I need to get gas for it somewhere. And then take that back and I could pop open all of the uh, the bunkers and armories and get geared up. That right there, that is the bar guest. It's huge, swollen zombie dog smeared black with slime. Its teeth are longer and its broad back is rippling with muscles and oozing wounds. We have Hulk dogs now. We have also, we also have acid dogs. Uh, there's a bunch of fun ones. It's a room full of pain and death. I mean, no, no, no doubt about it. I mean, the grabber there. Oh, that's a grappler. That's an upgraded grabber. He'd grab me from multiple spaces, so there's no chance I would make it around this corner to go for the stairs. So, like I said, this is what we call success <laughs> in my neck of the woods. Alright, uh, downstairs. Now we find out if they come pouring down the stairs after me or not. It's just one zombie, we're okay. As long as that zombie dog and things like that don't show up. Throw a nade? Love to. I'd love to throw a nade. I got nothing I can use to kill him with down here. I guess the, the thing I need to do is I need to go back to the base, craft up like 40 nail board traps, bring them back, cover the floor around the stairs in nail board traps, and then try to draw them down the stairs one at a time. <laughs> or, or as many at a time as I can. The problem is, I can't count on their behavior on the stairs. And the next time I go up the stairs, it could trap me. Because of the wonky way stairs work. I could get trapped up top. And uh, then just instantly die. Um, 
we could make one more try, but I'm sure the other one's going to be the same problem. So far it is just the one, so... Alright, so we got three regular zombies out here. You guys are free to follow me if you'd like. How much of a bad idea is it to use the auto walk function usually? Pretty bad if you're not careful and you don't know what environments you're dealing with. You want to always be really cautious. I tend to not use the auto travel very much unless I've already traveled a distance. In the tunnels, it's a little different because of the types of things you can encounter. But the circumstances are such that I, I think I can control the, uh, the situation well enough. Usually, I only in the overworld, I only use them uh, on occasion for areas I have very carefully already traversed myself. And I know there's no no roadblocks on a, ro on a road, for example, where you can get shot by a turret. You can walk right into turret fire. And the auto, tur auto travel will walk you into turret fire. So you will die if you use auto travel. And uh, the range of the turrets is greater than the range that uh, it'll turn off. <laughs> One skill so far. Oh crap, Thorny Shambler. That's going to be ranged fire coming in. I don't know if they can see in the dark. I know he can see me currently, but I don't know if Thorny Shambler is going to see in the dark. If I turn the light on and try to move, he might be able to tag me anyway. I'm going to chance it. Oh, crap. Guess I should not have chanced it. <laughs> boomer, boomer, boomer. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, we got a train. We got a train. We got a two-seater. No, it won't run. <laughs> Damn it. We got no battery. So close. So close. Out of battery charge. Damn it. There's no alternator on this thing, is there? That seems kind of weird. <laughs> no alternator. Oh, never mind. It does have one. Uh, all right. So we have found a train. Fairly rare. Holy crap. Another one? A four seat? Whoa, this is a big one. Four percent. Four percent with some gas. And even facing the right direction. Problem is going to be gas. I don't want to go check that other one again. Well, let's do it quick. How much gas did you have? 0.5. I do have the body bag that'll hold liquids. Siphon. Oh, I don't have the rubber hose with me. How do I not have my always carry with me rubber hose? <laughs> Damn it. I could have siphoned it. Yeah, glad I left. 
Now we're gonna run this thing off the rails because it's really weird the way it works. All right, I can't remember. Does it turn automatically, or am I gonna have to turn with it? Oh, it's so weird. Come on. Damn it. Here we go with the weirdness. Zombie? Oh, zombie north of me, yes. Now I can't back up. Nope, can't back up. Can't can't go forward. <laughs> uh, see, we've already ruined it. Ah, I hate these things. Um, I don't remember if I can drag these things or not. But it won't let me go forward, it won't let me go backwards, it won't let me turn. Okay, stop. That part of the vehicle is currently unsafe. Oh. I'm uh, four strength. I doubt I can drag this thing anywhere. All right. Well, you got to see a tiny bit of a functional railway. <laughs> if, if functional, it can be applied. I slowed. Oh, crap. The grappler has shown up. All right. We got to juke him by going this way in the dark while he goes to where he last saw me. We're going to go around. Understanding how this kind of setup works, where he saw me here, I turned my light off, cut back, but he's going to continue to that location, so that's the easy way to juke him in these tunnels, is you uh, position yourself, turn the light on, let them see you, understand they're going to go straight to that spot, then they're going to start following your scent trail. So, with that knowledge, it's pretty easy to juke around things in the tunnels, certain things, not all things. But, yeah, the, the trains are weird. They're just weird. I knew I was going to have a problem. I anticipated it. I was hoping I would be able to keep it on the tracks all the way back, but especially for this long straightaway. Would have been nice. But every single time you have to do any kind of a turn, you've got a good chance of it decoupling from the rails and then being a nightmare to get back on again. Previously, when I had that happen, I was able to maneuver back and then get back on the rails and move again. But for some reason, that one... In whatever position I managed to get it into, it refused to move in any direction. So, we had to bail. Well, I I guess we're stuck with the warehouse exit. That's the only thing I can see left. I don't see any other option. Uh, let's go to the middle of the track so I have maneuvering room. Safe mode on. I forget if there was anything in this length or not. Alright, so we gained pretty much nothing, and we lost our map memory of the entire lab, which is fairly significant. We still have this map. I know I need to go over this way to find the stairs that I came down from, but... Uh, or actually, do I need to go down from here? I forget which up and down sections I need to do. <laughs> Let's see, I remember that... We came down. I think we came from this way. I remember the library.
Yeah, that one right there. All right, we're home. <laughs> Ugh. That's so, so disappointing. So much traveling, so many opportunities. Just foiled in every direction. <laughs> Rubber hose now. <laughs> well, my chances and my... I don't even have the rubber hose handy. I thought I had one laying around. I almost always have one. Goodbye, refrigerator. We'll grab it because it's always a better thing to have than not. All right, we have achieved rubber hose. Let's have some food, yogurt, more butter, and yeah, start to do the cheese. Oh, normal weights, terrible. All right, so next decision. Do we level up any further before we try to do anything? What time is it? 140. So we've been gone a little while, a few hours. The Kevlar Hulk has had time to, you know, do some fun stuff. Could still be stomping around up there, or five Migos might have... I don't even know if Migos can take down a Kevlar Hulk. I'm not sure they can do enough damage to even scratch him. A blob could take care of him. <laughs> so he might have gotten eaten by a blob. That's actually a pretty likely occurrence, given the number of slimes up, that were up there. Hmm. Let's go peek. And fill in the map again <laughs> for, for the route. Started the same way, up, or wait, yeah, up, up, and out this way, but then it was down here, it wasn't that one. Yeah, there we go. All right, at least we got our exit mapped out again. Uppity up, uppity up, the up. So, theoretic what what noise does a flaming eye make anyway? A plop? I guess there could be a slime in there with the flaming eye. We're just gonna turn a light on. Slime, amoebic mold, and a graken. Alright. Neither of which are really a problem. And their presence here means the Kevlar Hulk is well, Kevlar Hulk might be blind. I need to get out here so I get the moonlight bonus. It is a clear night, so I need to get out through this wall right here. Preferably, you know, without dying. Can't leave that on. Come on, a little further, a little further. One more space. <laughs> There's the moonlight bonus. I need a vehicle. There needs to be a vehicle up here. Not completely shredded Rex. <laughs> wow. Wow. Come on. Actually, a break in the wall over here would be almost as valuable. Finding a break in the wall or a vehicle. No break in the wall. No vehicles. Oh, there we go. Oh, break in the wall. Break in the wall. Now, ideally, I can get out with a functional vehicle. This vehicle's been trashed a bit. They're all perfect condition unless they've been destroyed by zombies. So there's a perfect condition one. We've also got a body site. 
lab coat, bandages, antibiotics, first aid box. Acoustic guitar. Don't know yet. I could just grab a few critical things and run and then return for the rest later. We'll see just how empty this parking lot is. I mean, if they let me, with enough moonlight, I can actually disassemble this, and then we can just immediately drive out. So, just kind of depends on if they leave me alone long... Don't I have a whole bunch of 380 ACP? <laughs> I think I have like 50 rounds of 380 ACP. I was like, I'll never get to fire this stuff. Oh. Didn't bring my crowbar. There's a gun. 23 more rounds. Unload. That helps. Man, there's a lot of a lot of dead stuff up here. So, we have an option to uh, take that car, for example, and just drive it into the wall, break open any part. I think this is double thick right here. That's a wall here too, so that's double thick also. I think it's all double thick all the way across. So it takes quite a bit of punching to try to get through there. It's possible that's only single thick inside. I can't remember the dimensions of the um, the elevator. Did I trap somebody on this floor or was it another floor? Only takes five to six rams. <laughs> only. <laughs> right now I would be much more inclined to just bring the vehicle around and uh, just haul load the vehicle right there. I mean, it's not that far to haul with what's going on currently. Did they fix the prying for windows? No, they deliberately changed it to prying one, which is not enough for windows and doors. Makeshift crowbar will not open locked doors or pry windows. It will only allow you to do deconstruction of furniture and... Um, what was the other thing? Uh, open crates. That's pretty much it. But there's a lot of crowbars in the world now, so... It's not like it used to be, where there was only like one or two sources anywhere. Now they're they're pretty much thrown at you constantly. That combined with the fact that most houses have an open window you can just step through, or glass door that can't be locked anyway. Not really that big a deal. Hmm. 145. I think currently the answer is to go downstairs, grab my crowbar, or make another one from some bathroom or something. Go see if I can disassemble four wide of that, uh, that barrier. If I can get that done and load up a vehicle before the sun comes up or before anything else nasty shows up we'll have a, a miracle opportunity to get out of here I didn't see that gun earlier either oh oh that's even easier Assuming they can't get through that corner there. We now have a clean drag path. 
Right to there. Shorten it up even more. Alright, now I gotta seriously think about this. The only remaining question now is can I get the uh, get the barrier down so we can drive out? Let's just make the trip back instead of stopping and crafting a... Well, what do I need? A pipe and a hammer? I think that's all I need. Uh, no, not that. <laughs> Crowbar. Just a pipe and a hammering tool. We've got the hammer with us. Yeah, so I just need a pipe and somewhere to light. So we can do it right here. Back up. Oh, now I'm tiring out. No! <laughs> no! I need to be active right now. Uh, I need a pipe. Without running into anything I don't want. Oh, there's my crowbar. But I can't pick it up. Oh, I can. Cool. All right, leave me alone, slime. Safe mode on. Hopefully this is a nice, quiet process. Oh, it's not going to let me. It's too dark. Oh, we don't have enough moonlight. Damn it. Four strength and a crowbar is not going to take these down. Um... Ramming is an option. It's just loud. Hmm. It's just the attention that I'm going to bring is the only thing I worry about. The other option is, I mean, we could walk out. Like I said, I could go grab the body bag, grab the critical gear, and just walk out. <laughs> Our map is pretty, pretty not exciting. <laughs> we got a ranch nearby, which would make a good spot to, uh, to hold up in temporarily. And then we could make occasional trips back to try to sneak in at night. I am sorely tempted to try that. So, the beetle we could use to take the wall down. It's already got one spec section out. If all I did was back up and then kept ramming it straight ahead, if we could just remove three more tiles of wall and then pull it back, we could just back that thing straight out. Or back it up, fill it up, and then drive straight out. We have a seatbelt. Here we go. Nope, not fast enough. Can't get the speed we're going to need. I'd need to move some other things and then try again from another, from further back. Watch me kill myself just trying to break a wall down. That would be hilarious.
20. Ooh, we're instantly going 20. 24. That's one more wall section. <laughs> Don't think we hurt ourselves. Come on, other two wall sections. I need you gone. One to go. Keep going. Keep driving. We have our exits. We have two vehicles. One of them's already set up. Damn slimes. Um... He's going to be a problem. I can't drag a big old pile of stuff with uh, the slimes right here. Could trap him in that other car. But he's not going to be friendly about moving where I want him to. Just try to ignore him for the moment. Alright, let's see if we can go grab some important stuff. Gotta take advantage of this. Yeah, I do, I do have 380. <laughs> I got that Ruger. I thought I had that. Yeah, there it is right there. Hilarious! Okay. Now we need to wield the body bag that I've been running around with. See how much we can haul upstairs at a time. One of those... Let's see how to do this with all four strength. Let's just grab, I'm going to leave these. I'm never going to use them. this a different way here to there stuff I don't care about goodbye goodbye well, I guess we can keep the spike <laughs> I 
think I'm going to leave the bleach pneumonia behind. We can get that out elsewhere fairly easily. All the food's got to go. I'll only take a couple of sheets. So, theoretically, mostly I just want what's here. See how much of that we can get and still be able to reasonably move without killing myself. Go to 80 pounds? Alright, we'll go to there, we'll drop that stuff off. We'll come back for the remaining. Try to do it in a couple of trips. 2 a.m. Getting weary. As long as all I'm doing is moving, the weariness won't affect us too much. This is when triple Migos show up, <laughs> when I'm overweight, trying to drop a bunch of stuff. Actually, I don't, I'm not sure I have the trunk space for everything. Body bag's only got four items in it. <laughs> That's funny. seats. That seat there can hold some stuff. Put the, uh, the ammo there. Out of my car. Out of my car. <laughs> you better be out of my car when I come back. here so bad I'm hoping two more trips we might have it out I'll haul the rest of the, the heavy stuff for the most part all right um, same thing go from the bottom up 
77, 78, 80 pounds, and we're still... Ugh, still multiple pages. How long did it move one space? 209.48 to 211. Two minutes. That'll work. Down here. Actually, that might not work. Two minutes per space. I got a lot of spaces to go. That's going to burn hours. All right. Uh, let me do this. Let me take my midstream break real quick. We're at uh, the two hour point, so I'll give a, a thought to how I want to do this. Two minutes per space with the number of spaces we've got to go. It could be daylight before I get the stack up there, so I need to keep paring down how many items. Well, I think I am going to have to make at least a couple more trips of all the small stuff, and then we'll find out if we can get that number down. But uh, Oh, what are we at? 46,000? Oh, come on now. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm about to get up, so if I get up, I need to make sure I know if I need to bring back uh, treats for Zombie Dog. We're at 46 out of 50,000. Anybody's got spare channel points to burn. 48. There we go. All right, we hit 50. So I'll make sure to grab some uh, treats for Zombie Dog. Yeah, Mega Biscuit got done earlier. I don't know where he's at. I'll have to grab that too. So I'll be back with you folks in just a few. <laughs> 